Ralph Goodale was elected to Parliament in the spring of 1974. Forty-five years later, he's still there. When I started uh, in, in politics in 1974, uh, uh, two things. I had no intention for this to be a, a long-term endeavor, uh, but at the same time, it never occurred to me in that first election back in Assiniboia in 1974 that I might lose. Goodale would go on to lose many times. Five election losses between 1979 and 1988. Former Leader Post journalist Dale Eisler remembers what he wrote about Goodale back then. And I had the uh, kind of humbling experience of, of writing what I said. This is 31 years ago. What was Ralph, Good, Ralph Goodale's uh, political obituary in 1988 that I figured, you know, having lost federally uh, three times and provincially twice and then resigning after winning provincially, there was no other avenues open. But of course, I underestimated Ralph and uh, here we are all these years later and he's still a very prominent figure in Canada. Goodale would finally get his elusive win in Regina Wascana in 1993. Since then, a string of victories. Here's a speech after his win in 2000. Uh, a, a feeling of, uh, of some frustration but amongst too many Western Canadians. And that frustration is real. And for a healthy nation, we simply cannot allow it to continue or to fester. Sound familiar? Well, that frustration is still an issue Goodale is facing in this election campaign 19 years later, including a billboard campaign aimed at voting Goodale out, hoping to capitalize Regina Wascana Conservative candidate Michael Cram. He was defeated by Goodale in 2015 by more than 10,000 votes. I've had many people tell me on the doorstep they've been voting uh, Liberal and voting for Mr. Goodale for the last 20 years, but they just can't do it this time because they know that a vote for Ralph Goodale is also a vote for Justin Trudeau to be Prime Minister. And I think it's been very apparent the last four years that the, the policies of the Liberal government have not been good for Saskatchewan. Both Cram and Goodale say they're ignoring the polls. Voters always ultimately have the final decision. Uh, and uh, gets back to my, my first point. Uh, never assume you're entitled to a vote. Go out there and earn it. Goodale will turn 70 two weeks before the election. He says he's not ready to leave politics. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.